Hey everyone, this is going to be my preview video for Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 6. I'll put a link for the promo clip in the description below. Please go check it out. So spoiler warning for everything that's happened so far, and let's get started. The official title of Episode 6 is Blood of My Blood. It refers to how Dothraki blood riders and Call address each other. But if you interpret the title Blood of My Blood, it will explain the relationship between Jon Snow and Ned Stark. There are some speculations that R plus L equals J may be confirmed this week. Actor Robert, who plays young Ned Stark, is credited to appear in Episode 6 on IMDb. Whole Daily Mail has confirmed that he would appear again briefly in Episode 6, before another significant showing in episode 10. We may not get the full flashback, but we will actually get to see him inside the tower. Another fact is that Kit Harington, the actor who plays Jon Snow, has spoken to Entertainment Weekly after the resurrection of his character. He said, There's one episode this season, which is Jon's story. That's the most epic episode we've done. So pretty much they are all teasing R plus L equals J. Let's hope for the best. The synopsis says, an old foe comes back into the picture. I think the old foe denotes Walder Frey. As you know, he is coming back this season, so it could be him. Probably he is going to marry a new young bride and celebrate with Lannister and Frey soldiers. The Freys might seek Jaime's help to capture Riverlands from Blackfish. Next, we are going to meet the Tarleys. It's going to be an awkward family reunion for Sam. His disapproving father, Randall Tarley, will not be happy to see him again. Well, you know the story about him. He'll be angrier when he comes to know that Gilly is a wildling. Then we have Dickon Tarly. He is an excellent swordsman. He is totally opposite to Sam. He is Randall Tarly's favorite son and heir. Next we have Melissa Tarly, Sam's sweet mother. She has a soft spot for him. Tala Tarly, Sam's sister, she is a kind, unpretentious woman. The next part of the description says Arya faces a difficult choice. The theater play explicitly showed that Arya is still not ready to become no one. It really affected her when she saw the way her father was portrayed in the play. She still has the anger and desires which make what she is, and probably that is what the synopsis is trying to say. She has to choose to either become a faceless assassin or go back to Westeros to get her revenge. I don't know whether she is going to assassinate Lady Crame or commit the same mistake again by choosing not to kill her. In King's Landing, Jaime and the Tyrell forces are going to face against the High Sparrow to release Marjorie and Loras. If you look at this image, you can see that they didn't cut Marjorie's hair. They usually cut the sinner's hair before the punishment, which they didn't do. So there will be no walk of atonement. The High Sparrow will likely do something different to stop the Tyrell forces. Probably he'll release her on the King's request. I think Tommen will likely meet the High Sparrow to stop the Walk of Shame. He'll accept to be a follower of the Faith of the Seven. The last episode had a very sad ending. Hodor sacrificed his life to save Mira and Bran, but they aren't out of the danger zone. It appears that still some of the dead men are chasing them, and fans have started to speculate that Benjen Stark will save them. In the trailer, you can see a rider attacking a man on foot with a ball of fire attached to a chain or something. Many believe it is Benjen who is going to save the blood of his blood. If not Benjen, it could be Cold Hands. And even there is a theory which claims that Benjen is Cold Hands. Let's hope for the best. Without the Three-Eyed Raven, it's going to be difficult for Bran. He still has a lot to learn about the visions and how it could affect the timelines. In Vice Dothrak, Danny is going to lead the Dothraki to Marine. I don't understand why the show let her fulfill the stallion who mounts the world prophecy. I've always thought Drogon would be the stallion, not Danny. Speaking of Drogon, I wonder whether he will appear in this episode or not. There is a shot from the trailer which depicts him flying above the Dothraki horde. In Marine, the Red Princess will probably try to spread peace in the city, like as she said. We haven't seen Dorne in the last four episodes. Well, nobody seems to care about them after they deviated the entire plot from the books. So, it is hard to guess. So, okay guys, that's it. Thank you for watching, like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe.